Okay guys, gonna look at um, an attack, a guillotine attack from a very common position. This is where your partner is on knees and elbows. Maybe they've shot in and you sprawled out or half guard bottom and you scrambled up and you went to the front. I don't know, maybe you woke up and the person was there. But I'm in that position anyway. So he's in front of me. I'm just in a typical sprawled out position, like a front headlock position, and I'm here. So I want him to reach out with this arm so that I have access to his neck. And one way of kind of tricking him into doing that is I go towards his back. So you know, I'm sure you've seen this happen in a lot of fights where I'm in a position like this. I go to around the back and he catches me with his arm and puts me on my back. So very, very common. As we know that's an instinct, we can use this as a setup for an attack. I'm going to do the same thing again. I go around. As he goes for his position, I'm going to go over his arm, the arm in guillotine. And this hand here is going to go underneath his neck, okay? So it's already kind of in position anyway. I make my way around. As you can see, the instinct, he's throwing the arm up. This arm has gone over. I come underneath. I'm holding his chin with my right hand. The other hand comes in to support the grip. And very, very important, I sit back onto my hip like this. I don't go flat on my back. My right leg, my right foot is hooking at his hip. And my left heel is going up towards his armpit. Not down here, up as tight as you can. Okay, so that's the grip. So again, <clears throat> in these positions, be careful. We don't want our knees on the mat, we want our toes on the mat. So he's holding my body weight, toes on the mat, shoulder in the middle of his uh, shoulder blades. Right hand is going towards his chin. I circle around, he's blocked me from uh, getting towards his back. I secure my grip before sitting back, that's a big detail. So holding the chin, supporting my hand, then I sit to one hip, okay? Not flat on my back where you can clear my legs. I sit onto one hip, here. My right foot is blocking on his hip and my left heel is going up towards his armpit. He wants to work his head free, but I'm nice and tight. So there should be no way for him to be able to just pop his head out. And there's no way for him to jump over my legs because I've come at an angle. Okay, now on the finish, we'll do that more square on. So I have his chin with this hand and the other hand supporting the bottom of my hand to make hand fighting difficult. When I want to finish, I'm gonna go a little bit past his chin. So this part of my hand here is underneath the neck here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have a nice pinch with my elbow and then to finish, I'm gonna check the time. It's always guillotine time, okay? Here, I work towards the back, he catch, I get my grip nice and strong, I go onto one hip, I get my legs in the right position, look at my right elbow, tucks in, and then I check the time. There's the tap. One more time. Full control, come around the back, he's caught me, wrap up your grip, tuck in the knee and get onto that hip. Heel up towards the back, nice and strong on my legs, right elbow to the mat, check the time. There's the tap. Good guillotine from the front. <laughs>